everyone, me again. I'm here to do my February favourites for you today. Um, my last favourites video in January, obviously, um, went, went on for way too long. Um, if you've watched this video and you actually made it to the end, well done you. Um, I don't really know how that happened, but I just rambled on and on and on and on. Um, I am a rambler anyway so I'm, I'm going to try and nip that in the bud for this video today um, and try and make it you know about 10 minutes 15 minutes long. Um, I sound like a man today my tooth has gone down from my last video, but now I've got an awful cold. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I appear to be broken, um, but I'm just fighting off this terrible cold. So I sound a bit like a man today, so um, that's what's wrong with Amelia in this video. Um, <laughs> hopefully we might be able to film one someday um, when I'm normal. That's never going to happen, is it really? But, you know, semi-normal. Anyway, so, let's get on with it. If you haven't seen the favourites video before, um, these are just a couple of products that I've been using and absolutely loving throughout February. So, um, let's start. Okay, so first of all is Beauty. Um, there, I've got two makeup products that I've actually been loving this past month. Um, the first one is my Pure Minerals 4-in-1 foundation. It's like a mineralised powder. I got sent it by Pure Minerals um, and I have done a, a full blog review on this which I'll pop below. Um, now when I got sent this I wasn't too convinced by it because my skin is absolutely awful. Um, I have really bad acne prone skin um, and I've never really had any look with powder foundations before so when this arrived I was a bit like, oh powder. Ooh, not going to do me any good, um, but it's actually really, really good. You can, um, the coverage is fantastic. You can really, really build it up um, over any blemishes or any marks that you have on your skin. Um, it doesn't look too powdery when it's finished. It's just, it's amazing. I love this stuff and I've already hit pan. I use it every single day. Um, and for, the four in one thing, um, it's basically your concealer, foundation, powder and SPF all in one. So it's awesome. If you can find this, grab yourself some. I think they sell it in Marks and Spencers of all places. So I've been loving that. Um, also, mascara wise, I got sent a sample of their Extreme Party Mascara with my um, her corrector, the Bobbi Brown corrector that I use for my eyes. Um, and this is awesome, I really, really like this. It's a bristle brush, which is big plus points for me. It just gives you really natural, sort of plumped up lashes. Not over the top, not spidery, they don't clump together. It's just brilliant, I love this stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to buy myself a big version of this once it runs out. However, this is fairly, ooh, slippery sample. It's a fairly um, decent sized sample, so I've been using this for quite a while and um, it's still going, so yeah, loving that. Also beauty wise, I've been loving the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Now I've had this for quite a while, been using it off and on, but I found that my skin for some reason at the moment has gone really really dry. Um, so I've been using this probably every other night or every three days, um, just to give myself a little bit of a boost. Um, and it's basically like a really really thick moisturiser that you put on before you go to bed and you wake up in the morning and you have lovely dewy plumpy skin. Um, and I really like this and considering I've got acne prone skin, it doesn't make me break out, um, which is excellent news. Anything that can stop that happening is brilliant for me um, but yeah no this works wonders for me so if you can grab yourself some of this do so and that's pretty much it for beauty sort of skincare makeup this month um, I've been sort of trying to focus on my hair a little bit more because uh, since I had it on braid um, it's gone really really dry and also the weather as well at the moment isn't isn't brilliant and the cold weather tends to dry it out I find um, so I've been using my um, macadamia oil deep repair mask um, quite a lot more than usual uh, recently and it just works wonders. I only use it once a week. That's all you need to. That's all. That's all you need to do. Um, literally, just scoop it out, put it on your hair, leave it for seven minutes, um, and then it. Your hair is beautiful and shiny and soft and wonderful. Um, yeah, really, really love this mask. So you can get hold of some. The jar is massive, and I've been using it quite a lot recently. Hardly made a dent in it. So um, even with my masses of hair. So yeah, if you can find that somewhere, get hold of that. And this is a beauty staple, everybody uses it, if you don't then what are you doing? Um, but dry shampoo, but especially the graffiti flavour, I always say flavour, it's not flavour, don't eat it, the graffiti scent. Um, I just really really like this, it's very fruity, yeah it's like really fresh and fruity and I've nearly, nearly run out now but um, for some reason I've just been reaching for this one instead of my standard tropical this month, so the graffiti dry shampoo by Batiste. 
Um, and last beauty-ish product is a nail varnish. Um, I've had this quite a while, but again, I've just been reaching for it loads recently. It's OPRI's Don't Pretzel My Buttons, um, <laughs> which I absolutely love the name of. Um, and it's the perfect kind of mannequin hands shade. It's the perfect neutral colour, which are all over the place at the moment, um, especially coming into spring. Um, so if you want to get hold of this, I would highly recommend it. OPRI's Don't Pretzel My Buttons. I think I've got it, no I haven't got it on now, but um, yeah, lovely, I have been wearing this, promise, promise. Okay, so that's about it really for beauty bits and bobs this month, um, I told you it was going to be short, um, but I have got a few other like lifestyle -y bits and bobs. Um, the first is a purse that um, by a company called Disaster Designs, and I was sent it from um, a website, funkyhoney.co.uk, and I absolutely love it, it's adorable, again I've done a full blog post on it because I love it so much, I'm um, just showing you in a bit more detail, um, but it's, um, it's there, uh, it's, I can't remember what it's called, it's their, um, I can't remember, it's like this airplane themed one and it says bye bye baby on the front and it's got postage stamps and a little bow that you pop on um, and then it's a massive, massive purse, um, loads of spaces for your cards, um, a little zip money bit in the middle, um, other secret compartments and bits. No money, sadly. Um, <laughs> lots of vouchers and receipts though, god I need to clear this out. Um, but yeah, on the back it's got like a little map thing and then a little thing that says Swark sealed with a little kiss. It's absolutely adorable and every time I get it out to buy things the shop assistants always comment on it and say oh that's such a cute little purse and it is, it's so cute. So check out funkyhoney.co.uk um, and look in their disaster design section because disaster designs do loads of other things um, like makeup bags and big holders and everything um, and grab yourself one of these purses because they're so cute and adorable, I love them. And speaking of cute and adorable, you know I have a little bit of an obsession with crochet. Well, I've crocheted myself a little phone cosy. <laughs> and I just had to put it in my favourites video because it has been my absolute favourite. I love it. Ever since I made it, I was just like showing everybody, look, I'm so proud. What a saddo. Um, but it's a little iPhone cosy and it's shaped like an owl and I've called him sausage. Just because. And it has a little button on the back and you can hook your phone in it and it's awesome and it's so cute and it's really wonky um, and it looks like a five year old made it but that's why I love it and it makes me happy and last but not least I always seem to do a tea theme in these videos but um, I have another tea which I'm absolutely in love with I've just discovered it, it is matcha tea if you haven't heard of it um, it's basically like a super strong green tea um, now I'm not going to lie, it tastes horrible, it, it smells like dog food, when you make it it's green so it looks like um, something that you wash your paintbrushes in, you know like when you put paintbrushes in water and it turns into like that horrible colour, yeah it looks like that and it tastes a little bit like pond water, but one cup of this stuff is equivalent to 15 cups of green tea, so what I do is I, put, I only use half a teaspoon, so I put half a teaspoon in um, my old grey tea in the morning to disguise it a little bit because let's be honest it tastes like crap, um, but it really does help perk you up for the day, it, it's like a slow release energy, so you know how you have a cup of coffee and then you might crash afterwards because you're just like, oh, you need another one, this doesn't happen, it just sort of releases energy over about four hours and it's brilliant stuff, it's quite expensive it's about um, ten pounds for a pack this size, um, but you, like I said, you only use half a teaspoon, so you get your money's worth. And I pretty much have one a day, two if I'm feeling really, really sluggish. But it's packed full of antioxidants as well, and it's also won like a slimming award, I think, um, like best slimming product because obviously it boosts your metabolism like crazy. So um, yeah, I'm really, really liking. Well, not liking, but. Well, I am liking it, I'm just not enjoying it very much because it tastes horrible, but um, I'm really into matcha tea this month, so there we go. Get yourself some matcha tea. And you know what? That is it. I don't know what time we're on. I think we've made it shorter than last time anyway, which is um, an epic win. So there were just a few little bits and bobs that I've been enjoying throughout the month of February. Um, if you like this video, then please give it a giant thumbs up because that really helps us out. If you use any of these products, drop me a comment below and let me know what you think about them. Um, and let me know what you've been using in February that you really like as well. Maybe you can find some new products to try. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you want to find my blog or anything, you can see all the links below. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter, I'm at xameliax, I would love that, you can come and have a chat with me there. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon, bye!